when it's in this corner it should be charging as you can see indicated by the orange middle light and it charges on the contact sensors so there is two sensors that are available so when this hoist is not in use it needs to be back in this position if the light is not on for charging it may be that the battery is full The hoist is designed to be compatible with looped slings, um, which is what most people in the community will have. Um, and their carers will be familiar with this style of hoist. The remote's very easy to use. Um, you've got up and down. This middle row is not required. It's for a different spreader bar and this um, row of buttons is to move across the track which is preferable when it's got a load on it to reduce the wear and tear. The hoist will go across all aspects of the room um, so someone can be hoisted from any position and taken to any point within the toilet facility. The hoist will go to um, the floor if required. However, if somebody has fallen and is injured, please do not use the hoist. Please adopt standard moving and handling protocols. For example, using the hover jack. If you find that the hoist isn't working, the first thing to do is to check this. If it has been pulled slightly, there will be no power button lit. So if there's a report of a fault, the first thing to do is just to make sure that's been pushed in. It should then work again.